days today. I can't believe it. Terrible. This is a scrape that is closest to our stand. We're set up right there. We've got a we got a picture last night of a pretty nice buck. You know, shooter if he'd come in, but it was up in the up in the morning when he worked this particular scrape. I didn't realize it coming in. <laughs> There's two more scrapes over there. We're gonna walk over. I'll show you. I'm gonna put a little bit of Maniac 155 in this scrape. It probably won't do anything for our hunt this evening, but I'm putting that there to, for that buck, and I know other bucks will be coming in if it go off. Uh, let them know another, another buck, another deer is, is in the area. Let's walk over here to these other scrapes. We're only one day removed from Paul Meeks running a muzzy through a big white-tailed deer buck here in Kansas. But a warm front has moved in and all but shut deer movement down. We're just trying to put a game plan together and figure this thing out. Never easy, is it? There's one right down here. See, there's a scrape there. Oh, underneath the overhead limb is another scrape right there. And I can see it from here. This overhead limb down here, there's another scrape. This is about as, w as good a constitution of a scrape line as you're gonna see. This goes right off into that bedding area. It comes around here. There's a scrape here. I'm sure there's more right back in there. We're gonna doctor these up here just a little bit. But they're really working these scrapes. You can see the, you can see how they're digging and pawing it out. All right, I've just about got all of it. I guarantee you, juicing these scrapes up will create these bucks. Will stir stir them up and get them more excited, and hopefully get them to coming back more often. We've got to get these deer on their feet during daylight hours. It is so warm, I can't believe it. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of 150 out on this other trail over here, and we're going to get up the tree. Your decisions as a white-tailed deer hunter each year falls into one of two categories, active or passive. No right or wrong, but it's either active or passive. It's your choice, your decision, it's your hunt. I choose to be active, hands on, jump in there and try and make something happen. Bucks are working scrapes the first week in November. I'm setting cameras over those scrapes, putting Maniac 155 in those scrapes, setting my stands up and near scrape lines, putting out 150 in and around my stand, we're legal, I'm putting out attractants, I'm using my calls, I'm rattling, I'm active. Active or passive, no right or wrong, I choose active. Been working pretty good for me over the years. Probably work for you too, I'm just saying.